Hi friends good to see you again all I hope you all will be fine. And for all of you I pray that God fulfill all your dreams and give you lots of happiness. And my dear friends every time I try my best to give you all latest news. Therefore, you are requested to sit tight on your seats and enjoy the latest news. Intel Guru Frank 26 a few people were saying, boy the news out of Iraq is really slow. It's not slow. The calm before the storm, that phrase fits perfect right now. It's not slow, it's simply very silent because that's the phase we're in right now. The phase we're in right now, to announce the new exchange rate, they are being mum. They are being mum about the budget right now. And newshound Intel Guru MNT Godai asked my CBI contact how the rate of the dinar would be determined in the future. I was told that, you know and I know that the rate of the dinar is now being artificially suppressed. I was told that Iraq is in a much better situation now prior to the 1990 embargo and so why not have an international rate again with at least a rate equivalent to the late 1980s prior to the invasion. And newshound guru militia man Iraq, hasn't had a real effective exchange rate for over 20 years, man we're really really close. And Iraq has been named as the world's third biggest flower of gas in 2023. According to the World Bank's global gas flaring tracker, the worst offender was Russia, followed by Iran, with Iraq in third place. The USA was in fourth place, followed by Venezuela and Algeria. And the Iraqi Ministry of Communications, under the direct supervision of Minister Dr. Hayam al Yasiri, announced the signing of a contract for the deployment of the two Africa Pearls undersea cable. The agreement, signed with Gulf Submarine Cables Company owned by Saudi Arabia's STC, aims to route internet capacities from around the world through the Arabian Gulf and Iraq to Europe. Minister al Yasiri highlighted that two Africa's Pearls cable, which spans 47 global and regional landing stations, will strengthen Iraq's position as a secure transit corridor for international internet and telecommunications. According to a press release from Iraq's Ministry of Communications, the project involves partnerships with major global companies including STC Saudi Arabia, Vodafone, Mountain, Facebook, and China Mobile. Two Africa's website says the consortium includes eight members, namely, CMI, Meta, Mountain Global Connect, Orange, STC, Center 3, Telecom Egypt, Vodafone, and Vyok, West Indian Ocean Cable Company. Al Yasiri also announced the fulfillment of promises to enhance Iraq's geographic significance and revenue. The transit internet capacity through Iraq has surpassed 1 terabit via the Civilization's Pathway Project, a significant achievement within just six months. Thanks take care.